as many of y'all know, um, I stuck my neck out. I saw that the conversation was too one-sided. Our Latino leaders have only been preaching one side, one strategy. Whether it's Latino actors, comedians, authors, comic writer, and there's not that many of us, but the handful that we do have, your John Leguizamos, have only preached one strategy, one side. And, you know, I kept my mind open. I did my research. And for the purposes of me, my family, my community, my country, I wanted to vote for a candidate that was not going to be pro-China. Uh, I like law and order. I don't like people tearing shit up my neighborhood. Um, and so on. Education, climate. Uh, there's just war, peace. There's so many things that, you know, the economy, so many things that I had to just roll with Trump, roll with the Republican Party for the first time in my life. So a lot of a lot of fans, and I'm giving you all a recap. If you heard episode one, you're already up to speed. But a lot of fans were like, oh, man, you've been Republican this whole time. You know, these Texas fools are lame, Ese. And, uh, you know, they've always been, re- this fool been Republican. He He's making fun of us. He was making fun of us all this time. It's like, no, dog. A lot of people that accuse me of being a sellout, not being Mexican, I'm more Mexican than you, cuh. So if you want to have, like, you know, not all of them. I'm, I'm sure some could, are way more Mexican than me. They five-star Mexican. I'm probably like 4.5. You know, pero muchos de estos cabrones, güey, mueven el hocico y perro que ladra no muerde, compadre. So they just have this weird mind-reading thing where they're like, vendido, Trump cut you a check, and it's because you make over 400K. I mean, just all these assumptions. It's because of taxes, and you turn your back on your raza because Kamala and Biden are raza. No, no, they're not. 